as we've seen, stream restoration projects generally involve a lot of different groups, and that's especially important when the proposed project is on private land. And getting landowner cooperation is just the first step in a long involved process. The DEP's Mike Huff visited a recently completed project near Martinsburg. A hundred years ago, this was an orchard. Today, the fruit trees are gone, replaced with a housing development. A dam built across Tuscarora Creek in 1911 to provide a source of irrigation for the orchard was no longer needed and was causing a series of environmental impacts along the creek. We did some, some um, investigation of the benthic community and found that they're really the, the soils, the sediment that was uh, collecting along uh, the stream bed was really not allowing for the benthic community um, to become established. So the, the critters that like to live on the bottom really were not doing very well. So it was a pretty big problem. But project managers determined that removing the dam would create problems of its own, not the least of which was remobilizing all of that built up sediment trapped behind the dam. So they did the next best thing. They moved the stream. Uh, basically, we've uh, reestablished about 800 linear feet of stream. Uh, we are confined um, by, by the pond here that the community here uses as a fire suppression. Um, we wanted to realign through the bridge that we crossed over because it was very torturous. Um, and basically we uh, basically bent, bypassed and, and, and realigned the stream to the left of the dam. Um, and the dam is actually still there on the right. It's just been buried. Stream restoration is as much of an art as it is a science. And this stretch of Tuscarora Creek was no exception. We'll look at uh, aerial photography um, and, or, um, or what actually exists and get an idea of what kind of pattern the stream used to have. Um, and we basically tried to uh, reestablish what was there before it was impacted um, historically. Um, you know, we'll look at, do cross sections, kind of base our, 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 uh, our design off the drainage area and, and build to the right cross section so that it's able to carry the right storm. And um, we're looking to develop pools and develop riffles for habitat and and just reestablish the, the natural function of the stream. And by doing that, erosion rates are reduced. Crews also planted trees and other vegetation to help stabilize the banks. Things like red and white oaks, basswood, box elder, willows, and alder. As they grow and mature, the trees will provide shade and cover and help cool the water, essential ingredients for a healthy trout population. As with many of these stream restoration projects, this one is on private land. So getting property owner buy-in early in the process is important. We're really grateful that the landowners were willing to allow this to happen and they've been very cooperative and helpful. And they've been good stewards of the trees that were planted here during past projects and we are sure they will continue to be a good steward of this project. In Berkeley County, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. The group worked to remove a similar dam recently in Maryland and is working with Fish and Wildlife to remove three larger dams near Clarksburg.